If you are looking to improve and lift your iron and your ferritin levels, today I'm gonna to share with you two powerful tools that you can use every day that will gently and naturally increase your iron intake. These two resources are particularly helpful for many of you who might experience any type of stomach or digestive upset or angst when taking an assortment of iron or ferritin supplements. I'm so excited to share with you what I use and recommend for my patients. So let's dig into today's super powerful video. If you are dealing with trying to treat and reverse iron and or ferritin deficiency, it can often feel like you're fighting an uphill battle because the supplementation sometimes will give you angst, especially digestive upset like constipation and irritation of the stomach lining. And it's a slow, slow process of increasing your iron. That is why today I wanna to share with you two tools that you can use in your everyday life that will gently and powerfully deliver you a constant flow of iron so that your body can assimilate and utilize iron in a natural and more efficient and effective way. So these are the tool tools that I'm talking about today. So first I want to introduce you to a powerful tool called the iron fish. This little bad boy is so powerful. You can create iron infused or iron enriched water that you can drink, that you can use for soups, for boiling noodles or steaming veggies. I use this frequently and this is so easy to use and to create iron infused water. There'll be a link down below where you can grab the iron fish. So let me share with you how I use the iron fish to create iron dense infused water. What you do is you boil up water and when it's at a boil, you drop your iron fish in and you add one or two drops of fresh lemon or lime juice. That's the acid that activates this iron fish and you let it boil for 10 full minutes. That is all you need to create iron infused water. You can boil up massive vats of this and chill it and use it as a base for teas, use it as your everyday drinking water. There's no real kind of flavor to it, but it's a gentle but stable dose of iron. I love this because it's gentle and there's no side effect that often you experience if you're taking iron supplements. I also like these two tools because they can help provide a consistent dosage of iron so we maximize your iron absorption. You only have so much iron that you can absorb every day, so a gradual, gentle delivery is even more effective. Now my second tool is using a cast iron skillet. Back in the day, this is all people use to cook food and make eggs and do all of their cooking on the stovetop. We've gotten away from that and most folks are not using iron skillets. Most of the time we're using the non-stick pans. And I'll be honest with you, these are a little bit more challenging to clean and you also have to season them to keep them nice and wonderful like this. But when you cook eggs or you stir fry and steam veggies in this or you brown your meat or cook whatever you're gonna cook in an iron skillet, you are diffusing iron into that meal. That's actually one of the reasons why we see so many subclinical iron deficiency cases. People used to cook with iron skillets and we had lower instances of subclinical anemia and low ferritin and all the problems that come with low iron. So friends, these are two powerful tools that you can use in your arsenal. They're easy. They're a different approach to en enhancing your iron and anybody can use this. This also works well if you have any preteens or teenage girls in your family, you wanna make sure they're, you're enhancing their iron intake. Also, this is effective and safe for pregnancy and postpartum and overall you benefit by using these two tools. I'll include the links where you can grab both of these items in the description box below. And I am so excited for you to test this approach and use these tools in your everyday life. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on our next video.